Hey guys, uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about uh, June fifteenth, League of Legends uh, four game four game slate. Um, it's a it's a nice it's a it's an awesome day because LCK uh, is starting their summer split uh, tonight. Um, so LCK has two games and LPL has two games. So yeah, we got a four game slate, just like uh, we did in the spring split. It's exciting. Um, it creates, um, you know, a more uh, lineup building options compared to two game slates, obviously. So yeah, let's dive in. We got a lot to talk about. So let's go through LPL first, because it's pretty straightforward today, I think, just like yesterday. It's pretty chalky. I think it's going to be um, LNG versus uh, anyone's legend, AL. Um, here, here are the rosters, uh, the starter starters that are confirmed. Um, for LNG, it's the regular five. And then anyone's legend you see here, uh, Xiao Hao is starting. Um, I know he started a lot of the games in the last split, but I was in, I was not one hundred percent sure who was gonna start there in the spring split to start with. Um, but ZDZ, Xiao Hao, Forge, Betty, and Cho Cho are starting. That's kind of the expected starters, but you know, still, I mean, I fully expect LNG to win here. I mean, so, yeah, I think LNG is going to win. I mean, in every single matchup here, um, and especially because given that LNG has also played a game so far and they look pretty good, um, I do think LNG will take care of business here. And then the second game in China is Thunder Talk versus uh, Victory 5. Victory 5, as you know, had a really, really good uh, spring split. Um, but one caveat to B5 today is that Dream is starting. Rookie is not starting. Um, Rich, Karsa, Dream, Fotek, and PP got um, versus Thunder Talk, Xiao Sheng, uh, Beichuan, Yukal, Puff Southwind. Um, Beichuan is starting. He can, you know, he is the new jungler for Thunder Talk, um, coming from I believe FPX. And Thunder Talk also got a new top laner from Korea and Hoya, I think, who used to play for Damwon Kia. But Xiao Xiang is starting today. I think trying to, uh, you know, fit the new players in here um, with Beichuan. And Hoya is probably going to eventually going to start. I think um, for Thunder Talk, but for today it's going to be Xiao Xiang. But, you know, there is a good chance that substitution could, could occur. But at the same time, um, I think Victory 5 should take care of business here. Um, I'm not sure about the Dream player here uh, in, in lieu of Rookie in the mid lane. But um, I just think every, everywhere else. I mean, Beach one's pretty good. So, so I, I would give... Um, Thunder Talk, a better chance to upset Victory 5 compared to the chance of upset for anyone's legend over LNG. So I think Thunder Talk could pull it off, but then at the same time, Puff and Southwind, they're kind of bad. I mean, they used to play for Invictus Gaming. So, um, yeah. So I just feel like Victory 5 should take care of business, but I wouldn't mind taking a shot with Thunder Talk today. And then in Korea, it's going to be Kwangdong Freaks versus Hanhua Life Esports. Um, KDF is a big favorite, and Hanhua Life um, was, was one of the worst teams in Korea last split. Um, and they, you know, have the same roster, basically. So I really don't think anything's going to get better, um, except for the fact that, you know, these five players have played with, you know, one another uh, for, for the entire split. So, I mean, they know how to play. I mean, I think they have good team synergy, but then at the same time, Kwangdong Freaks does too. It's the same five with Keen, LM, Fate, Teddy, and Hoyt. And they looked really good uh, in the spring split. I mean, they finished like in the top five, but still at the same time, I think there's a huge uh, talent gap between Kwangdong Freaks and Hanwha Life. And, and I fully expect Kwangdong Freaks to make the playoffs in the summer split, um, whereas I do not think Hanwha Life will make it. So just based on that, prediction but also the talent gap and based on the observations that i made in the spring split for these two teams with the same rosters yeah i mean i would have to favor kwangdo freaks and then um yeah so kdf i think it will win as the odds indicate and nongshim versus drx this is an interesting one because um i think nongshim was actually um 
impacted by the COVID issues uh, throughout uh, the spring split. They had a bunch of guys out with COVID um, like week after another week, week after week. So they really got hurt. Um, they were really hurt by the COVID issues in the spring split. And that's why, in my opinion, didn't make the playoffs. And I think they'll bounce back though here in the summer split. And then DRX has, has been a good team as well. I know they struggle early in the split, but then they you know, picked up, picked up really nice wins, like in, in the second half of the spring split. Um, so, and then I saw, I, I saw that, um, Deft and their backup AD carry and Taeyoon, I believe they both have COVID. And so they're going to be playing online instead of being in person with, uh, with the rest of his team. So I actually think that matters a lot in my opinion. I know, um, Depth is the type of AD carry that likes to synergize with this team um, instead of trying to carry. Like he is more of a utility AD carry, in my opinion. I know he positions well, and I think that's all based on communications. So I do think it's going to impact um, the fact that Depth is going to be playing online, not with, I mean, he's going to be able to communicate through the headset, but at the same time, it's not going to be the same. And so I wouldn't actually mind. Um, picking uh, Nongshim to win here. I think as long as the bottom lane does okay, I think Kana is going to beat Kingen. Uh, Dread is going to beat Piosik, I think, and then BDD over Zika. I mean, this really is a toss-up, I think. But at the same time, Ghost and Effort or Ghost and Peter have shown some vulnerabilities in the spring split, um, which they're going up against the Juggernaut in Death and Barrel. But I've seen Piosig where he disappears as well. So, I mean, really, like, I think they both have weaknesses. Um, but I think Nongshim will bounce back today and play well against DRX today. So I'm picking Nongshim to win today as an upset pick. But, yeah, overall, I think all favorites, uh, they're sizable favorites, the LNG V5 and KDF. I think they all should win. And if I were to take a chance on the kill upside, um, I mean, as you know, as if for those of you who don't know, generally LPL games are more bloody compared to LCK games. So people tend to just stack, you know, like for example, LNG V5 for cash or something like that, you know, um, hoping that, you know, they just, you know, are more bloody than LCK games. But um, I do want to check out one thing for LCK games real quick. Let's see the kill upside, what it was like last year. I mean, last split. Um, was it KDF, HLE? Okay, let's see. Do want to see here? Who is the it's KDF HLE? Nong Shim DRX. So as you see here, Nong Shim played the fastest, but they're all about the same. And 0.68 is really low compared to LPLs. So let's check this out. Okay, Nong Shim, DRX. Yeah, Nong Shim DRX should be faster than the HLE Quantum Freaks game, but let's see how they did earlier in this split. Yeah, they're about the same. And Guangdong Freaks actually pre played pretty slow. Point six eight. No shim. DRX. 
Guangdong Freaks play, pr- played pretty slow. I think Guangdong Freaks is playable for cash, but I, I, I don't think I would play them for GPP purposes. Especially Hanwha does not give up a lot of deaths either. So, All right, let's look at the kill upside for the LPL games. Yeah, so in summary for LCK, I do think this is going to be a lower scoring matchup for KDF versus HLE. I think Nongshim versus DRX will be more bloody, but not as bloody as LNG AL or TTV5. So let's look, let's take a look at the LPL numbers, LNG AL. LNG so far this split played three games and they're at 0. 0.60. That's pretty slow. Who do they play against? Let's see. Ah, BLG. Okay. So LNG played. AL did not play them the talk. I don't think they played. Oh, they did play. Anyone saw it? 0.81. That's fast. Let's see who they played. Rare Adam. And they beat them. Oh, yeah. I remember that upset. That was a good one. Yeah, especially because Rare Adam plays slow. I like any I like AL's pace. What is that? AL LNG. So that increases the upside for LNG, actually. Yeah, so I like LNG a lot. Um Thunder Talk V5. Neither of the teams played. So let's look at how it was last year, last split. Thunder Talk played slow. So B5, 0.89, that's pretty fast. AL, LNG played slower. Let's see how they did earlier in the split. Talk. Hey, uh, uh, I want to look at the roster real quick. If there are any changes that could impact just knowing the players. Um, I think AL plays Zhao Hao. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see Dream and Rich and Carso. Yeah, I can see they have tried to make aggressive plays by Beichuan. So I do think Victory 5. I do think Victory 5 Thunder Talk will be more. Um, okay, anyone's legend had a high CKPM against Rare Adam. But they won. And knowing they won, they're going to think that they can beat LNG. Maybe they'll increase the kill upside with victory five new mid laner. Maybe they won't. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with LNG versus AL be more bloody compared to Thunder Talk V5. Yeah, I think LNG is going to be in a really good spot today. I think LNG is probably my favorite spot uh, team to stack here today. But, uh, But yeah, so. Yeah, anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions or want to chat league, let me know. Um, If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button. That'd be great. That would help us out a lot. So anyway, if you guys, uh, uh, good luck out there. And yeah, I mean, we're going to have four game slates uh, for a while. So that's going to be exciting. I'll make more videos. Thanks. Bye.